Ladies and gentlemen, our next match of the evening to be fought over three three-minute rounds and the amateur mixed martial arts rules in the welterweight division. So introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he enters the cage with a record of one victory, one defeat, representing Reykjavik MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Astro Dalsan. His opponent this evening is standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He enters the cage with a record. One victory, no defeats, representing stronger MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ethan Charlton. Our referee in charge of the action, Mr. Sam Amidi. Next up, world awaits, John Arthur Dawson in the blue corner and his opponent Ethan Charlton in the red. Retrovic MMA and Stronger MMA come together here in the Ambition Flight Series cage. Charlton looking for that head kick. Both very tall lean fighters. Ethan looking to strike. Big looping right hand keeps missing. But it's got danger written all over it. Astro Dawson took a big deep breath here. It says to me that he's trying to work out a way in and around this kind of aggressive kicking style that Charlton has. He kicks and he moves off the center line. He's very difficult to pin down. Charlton initiating the clinch, looking for the knee. Astro Dawson with his back against the cage, looking to circle off, looking for the punches and the hooks in the interim. But Charlton very aware of where he is. He does a great job of moving out of danger. Firing those low kicks. And again. Astro Darson now looking to win build those punches. Left hook, right hand combinations as he storms forward. And again, coming forward. He's got good hands. Beautiful work. Nice short right hook, followed by a big left. Oi, straight, straight right from Astro Darson. Beautiful. Good work on that shot. And it's quite refreshing to see two athletes here, are more or less the same size, more or less the same reach advantage. And they're having to really work. Hey, that's right hook there. We're only having to work to land these punches and kicks. Charlton needs to get his hands up. He's eating a lot of shots. Beautiful. Lovely inside. Charlton's got a nice leg kick, but he needs to keep those hands high. Charlton's got that style, the kind of the outside. Hey, I think that might have been a slip. But nonetheless, Athro Darson looking to punish early on from the top position. Rubber Charlton. guard attempt here. Climbs up high with that leg. Charlton working the rubber guard, looking to sneak that leg round, potentially looking for the go-go plata, doesn't get it. Afro Darson, big shot. As soon as he got out there, that big right hand. Could be looking for the sit-up sweep here, could turn it back into Kimura when he goes back to his back. Looking round for the armbar, potentially needs the angle for the armbar, gonna go Beautiful. down here. Darson jumps over. Oh, the bell, what an exciting finish to that round. That was beautiful work. Great attempt at the armbar. And you could see he was busy as soon as he hit his back. Went for the rubber guard, the legs got busy, they came up high, swung over for the armbar. Saved by the bell.
And round two of Athadarsson and Charlton. Charlton straight over the top with a right. Charlton seemed like in between the rounds he had a bit away, oh, a big knee. He had a, he had a kind of a bit of problem with his left leg. He was trying to stretch it out and trying to force it down to the ground. I don't know he's got an existing injury there in the knee. Hey, big leg kicks. Nice tee. That leg kick been working wonders for Charlton throughout the rounds. Charlton now looking to land those knees early on to get a position here that's favourable to him. He's got to start thinking about underhooks and dropping down, catching the legs. The knees are great from this position, but he needs to start thinking about snatching hold of that body or snatching hold of the leg for the takedown. Big tee from Charlton. Planted nicely, driving forward now, finding his range. That's the distance management that Charlton's so good at. He'll strike, he'll land and immediately get out of danger. So he's not there for the return shot from his opponent. See that? Beautiful. He's just a master of distance. Apple Darson looking in trouble. Charlton able to pick those shots. Apple Darson. Beautiful. And that's it. Referee Sam Amidi calls it. Apple Darson took one too many clean shots there. But it was a bit of a turn of turn of the books if you like and a bit of a turn of events because uh, during the first round it looked like Upper Darson was having a majority of the striking and landing those big strikes. Check out the replay here Charlton comes storming forward and this is the, look at this master resistance he lands the punches moves the head off the centre line he's always thinking about the return shot look at this barrage of punches and the referee saw enough and look at the face there from Upper Darson noticeably disappointed but he didn't protest Rob. Now it was a good call, very experienced referee Sam Amidi. Ladies and gentlemen, at a time of one minute, eight seconds of the second round, your winner by TQ in the red corner, Ethan Charlton.